what is up guys so which character in Dragon Ball Z do you guys think has had the most potential to be one of the greatest characters ever in anime history and hasn't they continuously get brought down they continuously get overshadowed by other characters their story their everything is meaningless because they do nothing and they add nothing most of you would say Gohan and I agree he's one of them and he is my favorite character in the whole dragon uh, universe um, but it's not Gohan that someone is none other than the Prince of All Saiyans himself Vegeta he to me has the most potential in awe of Dragon Ball Z and and super and everything I'm just gonna say the dragon universe okay it's faster I'll tell you why he has taught us that anything could be achieved with hard work he has taught us that when you're feeling down keep working and keep going to what you want to what you want to be what you want to succeed out everything he did that he went super Saiyan when when he felt belittled by Goku he was the rightful prince of all Saiyans and he was belittled by a commoner that he worked 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 and never stopped working for his dreams so he taught us hard work okay he also taught us that we could change Vegeta was a villain he was a bad one killing people for, for fun taking over planets etc etc and he taught us that you could change you could settle down have a family be nice be loving be caring but still be yourself Goku's never taught us that all Goku has ever taught us was um, how to be a bad dad and that you could break your limits that you could go beyond your limits and Goku's not a bad character he's um, amazing what he stands for what he's done in the series but it's it gets played out and and after all the years of watching everything in the Dragon Dragon Ball universe you 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 notice that there are characters that are being underdeveloped and are being messed with in a way that is tarnishing the reputation and there's this big favoritism over Goku which is cool but you know I'm I'm someone who's speaking out about it now because I hate seeing great characters be destroyed and by the way spoilers right quick guys I'll give you guys a second I'm about to give you a spoiler the only reason why I'm making this video is because I've had enough that last episode with Vegeta versus Black Goku Vegeta gets fucking annihilated in a couple of seconds gets stabbed in the heart or the chest or whatever the Prince of All Saiyans gets turned to shit and now it's Goku's time to shine that to me is a disrespect to the character and a disrespect to the, the fans of the character and a disrespect to the series in its complete Vegeta so prideful so strong so short tempered and and he has had so much character development he's changed who he is he's no longer a villain he's a caring father yes he still has his temper but he has changed you know and we have changed with him since we first saw him uh, in the Sa in the Saiyan saga all the way in the beginning of Dragon Ball Z as a character he's changed during the Frieza saga during the Cell saga and he has had so much character development and it has never ever blossomed ever whenever you whenever you think and and feel happy that Vegeta finally made it somewhere he's finally empowered Goku he's finally going somewhere his character is is is, is driven and 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 there's a there's a goal in his eyes he never gets there he's shitted on by the creators and whoever's writing this shit it's always Goku 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 who Kamehameha's or spirit bombs and saves the day like bro you guys need to stop that like Vegeta's just as much a great character as Goku is if anything better okay he's more relatable and you guys shit on him and I'm and I'm, I'm, I'm emphasizing that because I just finished watching that episode and I am mad because he got shitted on shitted on let me give you some more examples of times that he was shitted on all right the Cell Saga his future son comes 
They, they train in the hyperbolic time chamber. We later on find out that Trunks was suppressing his power to not make his dad feel like shit. Because Trunks surpassed Vegeta in the hyperbolic time chamber. And Goku's son, Gohan, Teen Gohan, surpassed the Prince of All Saints. He, he couldn't do shit against Perfect Cell. Nothing could Vegeta do against Perfect Cell. And I think that's a disrespect to his character. Because there are only two Saiyans alive, Goku and Vegeta, full-blooded Saiyans. And Vegeta, I feel, gets taken advantage of to kind of star, uh, skyrocket Goku into, star, into stardom, you know? Like, how do we make Goku look even better? Oh, well, let's make Vegeta look more like shit. You know what I mean? It sucks because he is such a great character. He's such a great character. I'll give you guys a perfect time where we felt and some of us cried with Vegeta. When Frieza killed him on Planet Namek and we get the whole backstory on Vegeta and we understand now why he was the way he was. Everything about him is now so clear and Vegeta with his pride, the man who shows no emotions, who doesn't care, cries. He cries to Goku and says, please stop this monster. He cries. What a big moment for a character. That was so much character development. So much character development. It was so beautiful. I'll give you guys another example. The fight between Majin Vegeta and Majin Buu. When Vegeta freaking self-destructs and hugs Trunks and tells him, I'm sorry for not being affectionate with you. I'm sorry for not showing you I love you. But I love you. You know, and then he knocks uh, baby Trunks, not baby Trunks, teen, not teen Trunks, <laughs> kid Trunks, and, and just self-destructs and kills himself, sacrifices himself. What a heartfelt moment by Vegeta. I'll give you another moment. The Kid Buu, when he acknowledges that Goku will always be superior. Uh, these moments with Vegeta are so much growth. We love this character. It's, it's amazing how much growth this character has, has, has come about in all this time. That I think he deserves his time to shine. Shine. Now, there's been moments when he does shine, but they're short lived. Battle of Gods. When Beerus slaps the shit out of Bulma, and Vegeta, just for a second, surpasses Goku and goes ape shit on Beerus. Do you know how proud I felt? Do you know how amazing that was? I was filled with adrenaline. I was like, go Vegeta, go beat the shit out of him. Da -da 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 -da. Like, I was going crazy, man. I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. And that is what you want to capture in your audience when watching your material. And many of us felt like that because I, I see a lot of videos on YouTube uh, about that little part when Vegeta went crazy. We loved it, but it's short-lived. We need to get that Vegeta for a longer period of time. That that boss ass Vegeta that we're like, yes man, finally, finally, finally you got what you deserve, man. Now I've been having this problem with Dragon Ball Z for a very long time. The whole underdevelopment of characters when 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 you build them up and just get brought to shit. For example, uh, Gohan, when you when he becomes amazing in the Cell Saga and then you guys just ruin that character and that becomes apparent when you start watching other animes and you see the side characters the supporting characters being used to their fullest extent and us growing an emotional attachment to them and sometimes their backstories and their stories being more entertaining than the protagonist Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Super all of that shit they don't do that it's all about Goku and and and, and all that Bullshit, man. You guys have other characters, and we, the audience, love them too. You know what I mean? And it sucks. It really sucks. So I could rant about a uh, rant about this all freaking day. Um, I gave you guys some of my thoughts. Obviously, there's a thousand more, 
uh, situations I could bring up and all that bullshit. But I want to know your your thoughts. You guys agree with me? Do you, do you not agree with me? Do you think there's another character out there that is suffering from the same shit as Vegeta is in another anime? I want to know everything. So you guys let me know in the comment down in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe, guys. That really helps. And you guys have a good one.